Welcome to another Guide 2 with me, Mr. Sealy P. The Old Shed mod. This is a new mod out on all platforms today, as far as I'm aware. PC, Mac, Xbox, PS4. This mod is by LS Mod Company, Tyrion, Slowtide 63 and Erebus. It's an interesting one this. Um, it comes in three different formats. It's on the mod hub as um, Old Shed. Is it Old Shed? I'm sure it was Old Shed. Yeah. Um, and then when you go into the actual store itself to have a look at it, in placeables it's the Lizard Old Shed on the right hand side for 50,000 which is a standard shed. Placeable Old Shed with openable doors. But then you've got two other versions. We've got the old shed with a wood chip sail point. The trigger is in the main hall where the wood chip heaps are. And then you've got the lizard old shed for the wood log sail point. But you have to put the logs onto the scrolls in the big hall. We'll have a look at those in a moment. These are quite, I say, significant mods in that. Um, the old shed one, it's an old shed. You can use it for storage, you can use it for wherever it's a placeable, you can put it in place. I haven't put one of those actually on this guide to at the moment because they're identical. The only difference is the actual sell point. The actual old shed for 50,000 has got obviously slidable doors, openable doors, slidable, whichever you want to call it, um, which the other two don't. However, the other two are sell points. They're not cheap. I mean, 50,000, it's not bad for a shed of the size it is. It's still a lot of money when you think some of the mods that are out and they're kind of, they seem to be coming out at a, at a lower cost to give you alternatives. These are quite expensive, but the other two are actual sell points, which can be invaluable. And some of the bigger maps, um, to save you having to be hauling stuff long distances and that kind of thing, um, worth their weight in gold, depending on what kind of map you're on. Um, if you think about maps like Smoky Mountain Logging, um, Pacific Inlet, those kind of things that are pure logging maps, to be able to put these cell points further out into the map so you haven't got to be hauling all the way back to the main cell point every time is will prove very, very handy. They are pros, but there are some cons to these, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, 75,000 for the wood chip sell point, 72,000 for the wood log sell point. The wood log one does say you have to put the logs on the scrolls in the big hall. The logs should not be longer than five meters. That's one of the drawbacks. A minor one, major one, depending on how you look at it and how you do your logging. So we'll have a quick look. The one on the right is the one that has got the log sell point. The one on the left is the wood chip sell point. If you notice I've put them around different ways um, mainly because the wood chip one I needed access to the wood chip storage or sell point at the front um, and if we go around the back of this one they're, they're identical. If I swing around the back of here the mod itself is exactly the same. So you've still got the wood chips in here but this sell point on this one doesn't work. This one is the wood log sell point so that works. On the other one, the wood chip cell point is enabled, which is in here, but the log cell point isn't enabled. So rather than having one mod that does logs and wood chips um, and can be used as storage, they're separate ones. I'm assuming to, that's to do with the scripts involved and all the things that are needed to make it work as a mod it would be too complicated glitchy maybe I don't know to have them both on the same mod so you can have one does one one does the other so having a quick look into the this one first the wood log cell point the mods themselves they're cracking mods great details the glass in here reflections on them absolutely brilliant done a great job on them. I'm assuming the lights are automatic. I haven't come across a light switch anywhere or a sign that says lights. But the textures are brilliant. Kind of mottled walls. They've got quite a steep entrance and exit on them. 
they are relatively flat here, so it's not like I've put them on a hugely sloped piece of ground. But now you can tell this one is the wood log cell point because these rollers are moving. This is only five meters from here to here, so you've got to get them onto these rollers here. They will roll out kind of in through under these logs and then you'll get paid for them. So that's the wood log cell point. It is, that is the only drawback. I have to say, it is a con, in my, in my opinion, and this is only my opinion, that is a drawback. Don't get me wrong, I, d I don't make mods and I can only imagine how complicated it is to get these mods made to do what you want them to do and get them through giants and get them out you know accepted as a mod I'm in no way criticizing the mod however had the cell point been longer that might have been more helpful I you know I don't know again this is just an observation and kind of my own personal opinion on that over to the other one there's no moving parts in the wood chip cell point that kind of goes without saying this is where it sells the trigger is here ish um, and that's where you're going to be selling. You can tell this is the wood chip one because when you come round here, the log rollers aren't moving on this one. So this is not the log sell point, this is the wood chip sell point. So what we'll do, we'll try and sell some stuff. And we'll see how we get on. So we'll start with the wood chips. <laughs> Only because that's the easier one to do. So we'll back this up. I'm hoping the trigger will appear. And there we go, the trigger has appeared already. Right, what we'll do is swing in, swing around, and come back out. And then hopefully, we are selling, and our money is going up in the top right hand corner. Although, the other thing with this is going to be height of trailers. There we go, 6,543. 21,000 litres. Now, I'm not sure actually. It's something I haven't checked, which I'm going to check now. If I go into here, it hasn't. I don't think it will have added anything into the store. Uh, or has it? Biomass heating. Oh, MC wood chips. Ah. And what have we got? Spinnery. Yeah, MC wood chips. That's new, isn't it? There. MC wood chips. As far as logs go, hmm, I'm not so sure for the log price. Oh, is that? Oh no, we got a mill on here already, haven't we? Yeah, MC wood chips. That's got to be it. Uh, so the wood chip price is actually a bit higher than standard. That's showing two eight five. I'm not reading this wrong, am I? I'm assuming that's right. MC wood chips. I've never noticed that on there before. Um, 285 and climbing. Generally speaking, wood chip prices have been quite low, kind of in game. That's not too bad. Okay, well, there you go. Um, if I'm wrong, let me know. I'm sure that must be it, because I don't remember seeing MC wood chips in there before. Anywho, now comes the tricky proposition. Haha. <laughs> I've, I've chosen this one only because it tips, which should make it easier. These are exactly five meters, and that's going to... I think that's going to cause me an issue. We'll see. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how this works. There are going to be numerous different ways of getting this to work effectively if you want to kind of automatically unload. Otherwise, I think it's going to be a process of using log grabs and trailers with log grabs and kind of unloading when you get here out of your trailer unloading onto it i think it's probably going to be the other option available or cutting them in small enough chunks that you could just throw them out of a trailer into here that would be the other option if you wanted to do it that way um, i'm sure people will think of many and varied ingenious ways of doing it this huh, i thought in my head would save time that's not to say it's going to work properly what i would do Swing this round and try and line up properly. It unloads from the left. But what I need to do is get as tight in as I can. Without hitting the trailer. Hopefully, I'd like to say, hopefully this is going to work. If I got caught up. I think I have, if not. 
Right. We are almost there. Right, let's have a look. Hmm. It's going to be interesting. It certainly is. Right, that's as close as I'm going to get. So, let's unload. Actually, belts first. Undo those. Drop that, and hopefully that will swing in between. And some of the logs will go on. Right, some have gone automatically. I think some have got caught up on the door. That's about right, isn't it? And they've tipped sideways. Mm. They are going on. But like I say, it might be better... Four metre lengths maybe might work. Oh no, they're going. They're going. You know, I have to say, that worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. That was more... I say no, more luck than judgement. No, I, that's what I planned it to do. 19,000. That's not bad, actually. I didn't even have a complete load. The log price for here must be fairly high. 19,000, yeah, that wasn't even close to a full trailer load. Um, so not bad. There you go. It will unload automatically. It takes a bit of fiddling. I'm thinking maybe four metre cuts would probably give you a little bit more control and make sure they're going properly. Um, using this trailer, it was a case of getting these bars between the doors so when it tipped it would go properly, but it worked. They went on. Um, like I say, it is a slight drawback that that's not wider. However... It works. It's a sell point for timber that we haven't had before. A placeable sell point for timber, um, especially on consoles. Um, they may may well have been other placeables that do this kind of thing on PC, but this particular mod is new out today on all platforms. I have to say, LS Mod Company done a cracking job. I like to say, I still haven't found the light switch. And again, if I'm wrong, if I've missed it. Somebody please let me know in the comments. I haven't come across one that seemed obvious. So I'm assuming these are going to be kind of automatic. When it gets to 9 o'clock or something, they're going to automatically come on. I assume. What I will do before I disappear is also just check. And this is just check. Turn that on. Just to make sure I haven't missed a, a door that you can open. That you can do yourself. No. I think because these are the ones that have got the actual sell points they haven't added on the sliding doors as well so the only other option available is the old shed on its own that doesn't have the sell points and I'm assuming all of these doors will be slidable um, I did run out of room where to actually place it here without it looking a bit ungainly and unsightly and sitting on a on an unlevel piece of ground but that's it for both of these you would chip sell point you would log sell point like I say, these are a bit steep, so using longer vehicles, you're going to get a little bit of this kind of... There's a worry you're going to bottom out, or, um, you know, it just looks a bit unsightly here and there. Uh, it will depend massively on where you place it, but I think wherever you place it, you're still going to have a bit of a ridge, because this is relatively flat. Um, but anyway, yes, LS Mod Company, cracking job. Um, like I said before, Tyrion, Slow Tide 63 in Erebus that's what they do that's how they work i'm sure people will come up with many and clever ingenious ways to get their logs in here the wood chips relatively straightforward to sell let's be honest um this is going to be one of those yeah people will think of amazing things i'm assuming depending on where you place it you could probably just drag a tree in here with the scorpion king and just cut directly onto it that would work as well um, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see what people come up with. Anyway, that's it from me. I hope you found this useful and informative. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.